Hello friends, uh, welcome again and this is my new project uh, Railway Reservation System and uh, I have developed this project in PHP and MySQL and the version currently I am using is PHP version 7 and the MySQL version 5.6 but uh, and also you can uh, configure this project easily on the XAMPP server and the WAMP server and uh, for front end I am using the HTML, CSS and JavaScript some of the jquery library as you are seeing there is a slider running on the home page so this is a jquery slider also for form validations and the date plugins i am using the jquery library okay so this is all about the technology so for operating system you can configure this project on linux uh, for using the lamp server for uh, windows you can use wam server or the xamp server but for the mac you can use the map server right so this is the operating system descriptions so let's start with the functionality so this project railway reservation system uh, i have developed in the php and mysql and uh, this is a mini project with uh, with a single user role login that means there is no admin in this project so there is only customer then customer can search the uh, railway tickets and book it right so this is all about the project so let's start with the functionality so this is the home page of the project so this home page is totally static nothing is dynamic in this home page so if you want to change the images and the text then you can directly change it from the html right this is the about us means about project so this is also a static content so there is nothing uh, dynamic in it so if you want to change the content you can change it directly from the html pages book ticket so there is a book ticket and uh, you can this page is totally dynamic means this from city drop down is dynamic and all the city is coming from the database so you can search so from and to city and date so you can see this date plugin i have used for jquery uh, uh, this jet, uh, date plugin i have used uh, and it has been integrated with the jquery this is the passenger child and infants and what type of class you want to book for ac sleeper or general right this is the registration so if customer doesn't have the user account then customer can register from the from this page and he will be able to create the user id and password and after that he will be able to book the ticket right so there is a one restriction in this page in this system that without login customer can't book the ticket right so this is the login page from where customer will be able to log inside the system and if customer doesn't have the user credentials then he can register from this page this is the contact us page and uh, from where customer will be able to contact but currently this is the static page i am not saving the data of this page anywhere in the database okay so i am logging uh, inside the system as a customer so this, this is a customer so this is a customer dashboard then customer can see these details right now i am going to book tickets for the some city so i am <coughs> traveling to delhi to Okay, right and uh, for 9th of feb so this is two adults two childs and one infant right ac and once i click the submit then you will be able to find out the, you will be able to find out all of the trains which is which are providing services from and between the delhi and gaya right so currently there is only one train available but if you want to add more trains then you can add the trains from the database directly as i have told you earlier that there is no admin panel for adding this information so because of this is mini project right so i have the major project also and uh, there you will be able to get all these informations right so there is currently one train available and just click on the book now once you click on the book now then you will be able to get all of the information for filling the details of the passengers right so this is the adult suppose right and gender meal age 35 and then so you will put all the gender information here all the passenger information here right and this is team c1 and c2 right and and the uh, infant so 
once you click on the continue to payment then you will be able to get the payment page so this is the dummy payment page and uh, there is no need for entering the real information and i am not also saving the information away anywhere in the database right because it's it's a dummy right so i am entering and now i am going to make the payment out e50 rupees right and you will not be able to update this field this is a read only field and once you click the make payment then you will be able to get the print ticket and that booking reference number is 25 and all the information will be displayed here so if you want to print this ticket then just click on the print ticket and after that a pop-up will be appear and after that you will be able to print that ticket right so this is the flow so i add me and the customer will search the train from station and to station and uh, he will get the all of the train list if uh, any records available between those cities then the record will be displayed on the home page and after that customer will be able to book the tickets and after that he will enter all the information of the passengers and he will make the payment and he will get the booking details page right so as you are seeing this is the booking details page right so this is all about the project also uh, customer can see all of it, their past booking histories right so you can see this is all of the past booking histories and once you click then you will be able to see all of the past all past bookings also there is information there is a form from where customer will be able to update his account details right so this is the account details and this is the change password from where customer will be changed his password so this is all about the project the railway reservation system which provides the services for booking the train tickets online and for technology i have developed this project in php and mysql and running this project on the xamp server but you can easily run this project on your web server or any of the operating system but you must have the apache mysql php available must be available on that system for configuring and running this project right so i as i have told you earlier this is a mini project and uh, i have major project also available on the website so you can search the major project for this the same project you will get it and if you need more functionality in this project just put it into the comment i will incorporate those changes in this project okay and don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest project videos and the latest technologies thanks for watching the video thank you very much